All right, back again. And uh, basically have some uh, recent mail days over the last couple of weeks. Got some new cards, of course. And um, anyway, let's get started. I got the uh, I got a steroid special here to start things off. I got this um, 85 Donruss Roger Clemens in a gem mint 10. And those black borders make it tough to get this in a 10. This card's gone up quite a bit. I want to say that it's gone up about $100 in the last um, maybe six months because I recall, you know, shopping around for this card maybe late summer last year and it was maybe in the $60 range, but it's it's gone up, um, you know, about 100 bucks more now. Um, for this in a 10 anyways. And uh, it looks like maybe he uh, might be getting into the Hall of Fame in the next couple of years, we shall see. Certainly one of the best pitchers of all time. Uh, one of the best pitchers, the best pitcher I've ever seen, basically, in my lifetime. Uh, and I have his Fleer rookie as well, but in a PSA 9. The 10s are are really up there in price. Now, hard to find centered. Um, so I'll take the 9. That's 85 Fleer. And I, I agree with the centering, because I have a couple of uh, raw Clemens, in the, and the centering is way off on them. So, uh, again, tough card to find centered. And then lastly, I... Complete the trifecta for 85, 85 tops, and a mint 9. Just a plain old 9. Pretty common. Um, yeah, I would like the 85 tops and a Tiffany version, but those are super expensive. So, um, anyway, the three Raja, Raja rookies here. And I have his 84 floor update, which is his best rookie card, I guess. Uh, also on a 9, but you've seen that one before. And continuing on with the steroids, I got a Bonds, 87 tops, and a Gem Mint 10. Um, this card also has gone up, so maybe uh, he and Clemens, people are thinking, uh, are going to be uh, inducted into the hall, um, you know, in the next couple of years here, based on their vote percentage. So uh, I figured I'd get this while I could. It's just the basic tops, um, not the Tiffany, and uh, I also have his 86 traded in a 10, but uh, the 87 Flair Glossy, uh, that's also in a 10. So three 10s. And I guess that's it. There's a lot of Bonds rookies out there, but I would say that the uh, top traded and the um, the Fleer are the biggest ones, and maybe this, but it's pretty common. All right. And then I added um, a couple more. Uh, here's a, a just a fan favorite of mine, this 86 Donruss Pucket in a 10. I, I love this Pucket card. I just, you know, I just like this card. Uh, I like the Dwight Gooden from the very same set, which I got in a 10 maybe about a year ago. So, uh, just a basic 86 Donruss Pucket, Gem Mint 10, and then I picked up uh, a card of who I consider to be pretty underrated in general in the hobby, but this Will Clark. And this is a 10, this is the Flair Glossy version, so I suppose it's his best rookie card. Not much more I can say about that. Uh, I added a football card. I got uh, a PSA 10 Bo Jackson 89 tops for my uh, Bo Nose PC, which I have in all 10s. It's not a huge PC. It's just, uh, I mean, you've seen it. It's just a handful of tops cards from the uh, late 80s and uh, maybe a couple of scores and things like that. So, um, But I like this one, and it's pretty cheap. And I uh, added an autograph card to my collection. You know, I collect Nikki's autographs. This one's great. It's so... Um, well, it's not great, it's encapsulated. And it is Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York. And he had a Topps, uh, what was it, a fan favorites card from a couple of years ago? Yeah. And he signed it, and it got certified. Great mayor uh, of New York City. And then uh, Bloomberg followed him. And he was also a really good mayor of New York City, and he had three terms in office. And then the current mayor... Is this bozo named de Blasio? Not on. This guy is. Uh, this guy is a. This guy's a clown. And you know, I get Fox Five New York. That's that's what I watch. Um, the ten o'clock news and the um, the general manager of Fox Five New York always has an editorial on on the mayor de Blasio. And um, not to digress even further, but de Blasio, he he won the mayoral election, the same one that Anthony Weiner ran for and i caught that documentary on anthony weiner it's called weiner and this is the guy that has a problem sending pictures of his dick to like women uh, and teenagers right 
And this documentary took place after, you know, that, that first scandal. And it followed him as he ran for mayor of New York City. But while he was running for mayor, he had more issues with texting or sexting other women. And it came up and it, the documentary highlights all that. So it's like a fucking train wreck. This, it's a great watch. Um, this Anthony Weiner. And, you know, he seems like a really nice guy. Um, and he probably would have done a better job than de Blasio. But um, anyway, just uh, I'm getting way off topic here. But uh, yeah, so if you ever uh, see the documentary Wiener, I caught it on, I think it was Showtime one afternoon. And I just couldn't take my eyes away. It's a great watch. And um, it's, it's just sometimes hard to watch because it's, uh, I don't know, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, uh, Rudy, great mayor and a real cool card to have. I mean, it's not so much a Yankees player, right? But he's got the Yankees hat on and his New York mayor. So I figured I'd get this one. And I'm uh, considering um, signing up for PSA to get my autograph cards just slabbed like this, just for protection. Um, maybe not all of them, but maybe just some of my higher end autographs. And I got quite a few uh, Yankees in particular. So we shall see. Um, so there's that. And then, what am I doing here? Lastly, for all you vintage heads out there, I got this little beauty here. The 64 Tops Pete Rose second year. And a 6.5. And what drew me to this card was the centering because it is so difficult on this particular card for whatever reason. Um, I mean, there are PSA 7s with worse centering than this. I'm not sure why this warrants a 6.5. I mean, there must be something I can't see. It looks like it could be a... I mean, it looks like it could be a freaking eight for all I know. Corners are sharp, borders are white, clean. There's some print stuff here, right? Um, but whatever. Uh, the fact that it was 6.5 made it pretty economical compared to a seven or an eight for that matter. So, uh, and I was the only bidder. I'm surprised there weren't more interest in this card. And I did research the prices of sixes and the prices of sevens, the going rate for them on eBay. And I thought this was very reasonable. Uh, being a 6.5 and this is my second Pete Rose card um, and somebody commented that he probably will get into the Hall of Fame but just probably after he passes away just to spite him um, he deserves to be there I think based on his on-field performance so certainly a good card to have anyway uh, that's it for this this little roundup here and one last look at the Giuliani and then there's the steroid special and a couple other odds and ends. The Pete Rose rookie. Thanks for watching. And I'll uh, talk to you next time. Later.